Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to more Harvest Moon 64. So, we're almost a third of the way through summer now, so hopefully we can get a bunch of stuff done today. It's raining outside today, all my cows are going to be in the barn, I think, for pretty much the rest of the game, which will give me a lot more time to fish and, you know, catch fish, which I need for the ending of the game. Besides that, though? Probably not a whole lot left. We should be able to take it very fast-paced. Hey! Hi, did you know the vegetable festival is tomorrow? Lots of produce is on display and everybody votes for the best. You should enter something. I think your vegetables are pretty good. Well, goodbye. See you later. Thanks for coming to my house in the rain. One thing I want to show off here, and I'm not going to say that I do this, but I want to see, I want to show you guys what happens if you let your cows out in the rain. <laughs> yep. Cows do not like rain. And if you let them out in the rain, then they get sick for some reason. I don't know. What happens if you let your sheep out? I don't think I've ever let my sheep out in the rain. Do your sheep size bulge out as well as the cows? Come on. I want to see this. <laughs> yep! I don't know why the sheep so and the cows get so freaked out over the rain, personally, but I don't know. That's just something kind of funny that I wanted to show. Don't worry, I'll be there for the baby. Like you'll just know psychically, like when it's gonna happen. That's kind of weird. Hello. I'm very happy. Now I just hope to have a baby soon. Uh, Eddie. Ha ha ha. Wow, okay. Bam, they have only been married for like a week and already. Okay, you know what? I'm glad I realized my feelings. I would have regretted giving her to someone else. Thank you to you, Artie. Which is funny, because if you marry Ellie, he's like totally cool with it. He's like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> now I don't have to marry her. He doesn't actually say that, but, you know. <laughs> Thanks to you, my husband is thinking positive thoughts. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 it was not me. I All I did was summon the fairies of the spirit realm to make your vineyard better. I did nothing. I have to work hard for a little while longer. But you can, like, pass it down to Karen if you want to retire. I'm sure she'd be happy. To oblige. Hey, you two. The rain here is very different from in my hometown. There's, there it sounded like music, but here it sounds lonely. Uh-oh. I hate this weather. Is that why Karen usually disappears during rainy days? Because Karen normally just vanishes from the game if it's rainy. Unless she's working at the bar. Alright. Time to fish. <laughs> Also, I should have mentioned it earlier, the reason I mentioned in year one that you can miss out on the walnut cake recipe, that's if Ellie's grandma passes away, you have no way of getting that recipe, which is why I encourage you to get it year one. Get over here, monkey. Monkey. Check it out, Harris. Cute. I can't believe there are monkeys that are hanging out in- like, we have so- such a diverse population of wildlife here. Look what I caught! Oh, hey. <laughs> Honey, look what I caught! Oh, cute, but I think you should let it go. No, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. Why won't it let me put the monkey in the refrigerator? Oh well. Next best thing. Stay. <laughs> I have a monkey living on my roof now. This is amazing. 
And he already disappeared. Doggone it. There. My farm is perfect. Here is one of those instances of days where it's actually raining, but because it's a festival day, it looks like it's sunny and it plays the sunny music. Were there any weeds on my farm? I thought I picked the only one that grew. Man, three rainy days in a row. Still want to check to make sure my blue mist seed is got watered, though. On top of that, I'm also going to bring a cabbage for the vegetable festival today. That's what I'm entering. And of course I have one for my awesome wife, of course. Cow, this is not an all-you-can-eat buffet. You are not eating the fodder out of the fodder spout. Alright. We're off to Moon Mountain to make sure my blue mist seed gets watered. We're gonna do a little fishing, grab some grass for my dog to get as food. And besides that, we can just head off to the festival. Okay, it was watered. Just want to make sure. I like the depth perception here. I never know. I've never mentioned this uh, before, but I really like how it's very much like a, a very deep riverbed, but the river only goes up so far. Want to make sure I'm not late for the festival since it ends at five. I will bring a walnut back for my dog because it's a special treat. And we're off to the Vegetable Festival, which is the festival I didn't get to talk to everybody at in year one. And I didn't enter anything year one. So the way to win the Vegetable Festival is just submit a vegetable that you've shipped at least a hundred of, and you will win, guaranteed. Hey, you didn't bring a vegetable? No, I did. Well, then take it out and enter it in. Everyone can be proud of their vegetables. What happens if I submit a fish? Um, you can't submit this. I grew it on my farm, though. Not really. You're going to enter this vegetable, right? I'll do it, and you go judge the other vegetables. Okay. Love this music. The amount of vitamins in a vegetable varies depending on how you cook them. That's all you gotta say. Of course, taste is the most important point, but it has to look good, too, right? Cabbage has lots of vitamins, including vitamin U, which they say is good for ulcers. U for ulcer? Hi, did you submit a vegetable? I'm very particular about tomatoes. Aw oh, man, everybody only says like one thing. Hey Anne, I love corn. I can eat free at a sitting. Wow. And she is free. Hmm, this one looks full of vitamins. Munch, munch, munch. Hello, I'm the special gourmet judge. These are tra beyond delicious. Hmm, it's a tough choice. The vegetables are all so wonderful. Oh, you're eating my cabbage. I don't like vegetables. Hey, you always say don't be picky. Shut up, I can eat anything. Brother, are you picky about food? Um... Yes. Oh yeah? Then that means I can grow up big and strong even if I'm picky. Whereas if we say no... Gosh, you mean I won't grow up big and strong if I don't eat vegetables? It's true, because Grandpa told me you need to eat vegetables to grow big. Oh no, that means I have to eat carrots. I like carrots, they taste better than Grandpa's mo potions. I don't like vegetables. Oh. <laughs> Same conversation if you talk to both of them. <laughs> Dude, asking me multiple times is not going to change my mind. Ask me in a different dimension. I like how somebody even submitted a strawberry, and somebody also submitted an herb. If I submitted an herb, would that get accepted? I do wonder. I love this music. Now we'll announce the results. The winner of this year's vegetable festival is Artie. Mmm, very firm, fresh fragrance. This is what you call a real vegetable. Delicious raw and full of nutrition. Wonderful. Congratulations, Artie. Nobody cheered for me. What was that about?
I demand cheers. And off we go to give gifts. Still trying to give Doug ears of corn to boost his affection up. Because, you know, he's a grumpy old frump. Animals are very sensitive about your attitude. Don't ignore them. Hey, dude. How about you take the plank out of your eye? You say that animals are sensitive to attitude? Well, look in the mirror. There you go, your own flower. Sure is raining a lot. That, now, that actually is true. Not sure where Ed would be today. Oh, Ed's in here. So, Ann, is there something you want to tell me about this, uh, light coming up through the floorboards? No? I forget, does Anne like pink catman flowers more than usual? Maybe not. I thought there was one girl, who, or one character, who liked pink catman flowers more than they do other gifts. Hey, Ellie. I finally realized where I am the most at peace. Aww. Alright, I need cabbage seeds, because I f f officially ran out. I am not befriending the gourmet judge. There is no point. Plus, he only likes edible things that you grow. Hello, Artie. Our vineyard has grown, hasn't it? Well, gotta work hard a little while longer. Oh, I hope it'll stop raining soon. The grapes will get waterlogged. What does that mean? Oh, thank you very much. Alright, fair enough, Karen. Hey, Poppery! Wow, amazing! This is my first time seeing the real thing. It's so pretty. I hope the butterflies come. It's finally grown! So I think tomorrow, since it'll be sunny, if I come back, uh, it'll be Poppery's photo event. At least I hope so. It's gotta happen in the summer, or it's not happening at all. Ha ha! Papa! Now that is a big one. Sweet! Hey! Is this Basil? It is! Sweet! Hi, Artie! Congratulations! You're everything I expected! Let's drink a toast. This is because I won the vegetable festival. Yes! Good! Yes, you must! Everyone will join us later. Let's enjoy tonight. My wife's coming, right? The party continued until midnight. Considering that Maria doesn't like staying up late, I'm guessing she probably did not. <laughs> I hope you came along, honey. <laughs> Someone tells me one of my cows snuck outside. How'd I know? Oh, thank you very much. Brr, I'm still grumpy. I'm impossible to impress. I never expect people's basic feelings to change. Maybe I believe they won't change. Am I fooling myself? Well, I guess it's okay. All life is study, study, gain lots of experiences. Who likes kitties? How cute. Oh, that actually seems not very robotic. Hey, Ellie's around on Sundays now. He was always beside me, so it was a natural thing. It just took a long time to realize how important he is to me. Aww. If her father were alive, I wondered if he'd be happy or angry. Oh, that is a deep question. <laughs> not sure how I would feel if it was my daughter, but you know, hey. He's a good guy. And they're both in love, so... Maybe it's just true love's kiss. Yes, that was an enchanted reference for those of you wondering. Underrated movie! I should see it again. Thank you. You've made me happy. Be good to Karen. Ah, I'm glad we managed to cheer her up with tomatoes. Oh, it's you. How are you doing? Busy as always? Thanks, Gots. Our 
Kai and Karen just always hanging out in the wine cellar now? No, maybe Kai has gone somewhere else. Oh, Karen must be at the beach. I think Karen and Kai are at the beach on Sundays now. Hey, dude. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, he's so excited to get a feed of flowers. That's great. Summer's the season for typhoons. Be careful. Of course, the houses we build stand firm. Are you saying there are competitors who don't build houses that stand up to those? <gasps> wow, it's blue mist. When that blooms, it means there's still hope left. Um... Big sky blue swallowtail. I heard it's been spotted around Moon Mountain here. Well, he's certainly excited. Gotta keep watering it, though. Yeah, the entomologist comes and plays a big, a pretty big part in the photo event scene. Oh, thank you very much. Hi, have you gone fishing yet? Yes. Oh, thank you. I envy you. I want a wife, too. There aren't many options for wives in this town, especially now. In fact, now it's like, well, there's the midwife. And that's it. Because everybody else is married or too young. We got a ro lot of rotten wood because of all the rainstorms. Oh, thank you very much. Wow, today I feel like you're pretty cool. But yesterday I thought you were lame. Tomorrow? Who knows? Alright, to give you guys an idea of how fast the days are flying by... <laughs> uh, at this point... Oh, I've gradually gotten used to working on the farm. Good, you're no longer complaining it's hard. Okay, so it never fails. Every time I'm about to say something, something else happens in the game. What I was going to say is, it's gotten to the point where I pretty much need three hours of footage to get a half-hour episode. That is not an exaggeration. Shipping wine I made from my own grapes, it's a complicated feeling. Kai has worked so hard since we got married. Aw, that's nice. Karen likes hard workers too, so that should be pretty cool for her. Alright, I'm hoping today's the day I will get Papari's photo. And again, you don't even need her to be at a pink heart for this. She can be the white heart and this will still happen. It's all just about growing the flower. Yep, here we go. It's so pretty! Blue mist and emerald butterflies. It's like another world. Arr! That is the perfect voice to give him. It's an emerald butterfly! Wow, with a color! The shape, truly the queen of the butterflies. Oh, the camera, I must take a picture. I'm going to remember this forever. Uh, thanks for taking the random couple on the, uh, he, in the picture as well. It's so pretty, blue. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, we got the entomologist what he wanted. He'll give us a picture, and this actually makes sense for us to get the picture from it. Summer's a problem because cakes spoil easy. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. Beep, 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 beep. So now we no longer have to water the uh, flower. Oh, thank you. What can I say? Life itself hasn't changed much. I run the bakery, I go fishing, that's literally it. I mean, I have a monotonous life in this game too, but at least I shake it up a little bit. And I have a wide variety of stuff I like to do. Alright, that's going to do it for this recording session. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless.